It's on fire. Welcome to this week's vlog. And you know what, this week might just seem a little bit disjointed. The reason being is that I didn't have as much of a story as I did in the first one, and I'm still really just finding my feet with this. So this week's vlog is as much a celebration about being in London where the weather is unusually nice for this time of year, moving from summer into autumn. So I hope you enjoyed this week's vlog and a couple of the things that I got up to in the past week or so. The vegan burger place is pretty, uh, pretty intense, which is a good sign. Morning, such a beautiful, sunny, crisp. Sunday morning. I haven't done much vlogging all week, so it's kind of all down to today really. So today I'm off to the workshop, and the workshop is about deepening intimacy and polarity. So polarity is all about being in your natural essence, whether that's masculinity or femininity, and um, yeah, being in polarity with the opposite. The district line. So as it turns out, the overground trains are not regular on a Sunday morning. So I'm actually just calling in an Uber. I'm at Highbury and Islington. The train was going to take like 10 minutes and I've only got 15 minutes to get there. So I'm going to find my Uber. Hi. How are you? Are you going to ask King? Okay, yeah? Yes, please. Thank you, sir. Yes, thanks for having us there. You too, cheers. Okay, let's see, this does not look like a yoga studio. Number 100, 105, what is this? Even on this side, oh, it's right there. <laughs> Good news. Well, so, got there in time, and that was actually a lot of fun. It's so interesting for me how, you know, we did a lot of exploration about masculine and feminine and how that relates to male and female, and actually, masculine and feminine isn't gender specific. And it was really about relating to other people in relationship as humans based on what your real preferences are. I actually don't want to say too much about the uh, the workshop itself in case you find yourself going on one of Michaela's workshops. I would definitely recommend it, it's awesome. Um, but it definitely got me thinking and uh, given me some new perspectives, which is all we can ask. Okay, so no more workshops finished. Before I head back to West Kensington, I'm close enough to Shoreditch to uh, get myself some vegan food at uh, King Cook's. So I'm gonna head over there now.
Sunday night and um, I'm heading out. I'm a little bit late. Hopefully I'm going to be able to get to see this, but it's the 350 year anniversary of the Fire of London. And um, they've built this kind of wooden cityscape of London and they're sending it down the Thames and going to set it alight. So I don't know what it's going to be like when I get down there. It may be too crazy busy for me to even get to see anything, but it uh, should be pretty cool if I can get to see something. that there's going to be loads of people um, taking photos and video on selfie sticks and whatnot but it's like some people's only experience of that whole thing was them looking it's almost like that it doesn't matter that they're not actually they're not actually seeing the thing live their, their experience of it is on the back of a on the back of a phone or a camera me myself included I spend most of the time looking and getting the photo getting the video for my blog the, the age of social media that makes us just really the most important thing is to get the photo right to get the video for Instagram and Facebook it's fascinating Tuesday morning and we're getting some bonus sunshine here in London it's gonna be like 29 30 degrees today <laughs> can you hear that fly Gosh. man it is so friggin hot outside tonight today what <laughs> so weird this weather in September middle of September I'll take it though. So I'm heading down to uh, WeWork in Liverpool Street today to do some work. I work mostly from my home office right now. So it's nice to be able to get out and do some, uh, do some work somewhere else. Second time in three days, one of my cats has brought in a pigeon, but I caught it early enough. He's still alive. He's, I've locked away the cats and the uh, pigeons under here. Buddy. I'm gonna have to get him out. It might even be the same pigeon. After I saved him last time, he kept turning up at the front door. Come on, buddy. Throw me a bone here. Help me out. Come on. Good boy, good boy, wherever you are. Don't go under there, no. Gotcha. Let's take him outside. You gotta stop coming in, buddy. You're just gonna get caught by the kitty cats. Stay away, buddy. My cats are just gonna get you every time. All right, come on in, you two. Who was it? Which one was it? They're looking for him again. Who did it? He's gone, he's safe. I've taken him outside. You can stop bringing me birds. It's, yeah, it's not, not what's required. Summer's over and I am on my way to yoga. I'm going to try yoga, Soho, Vinyasa. I'm going to do Vinyasa yoga every day this week. No, no CrossFit for me this week. It's a week of yoga because I'm such a different person when I do yoga. I did not make it in time for yoga, dang it. I'm gonna go home and do some yoga at home.
Okay, I'm almost home. I'm just gonna pop down to the shop and get some lemons. My all time favorite drink in the summers. Lemon, ice water, and a little bit of stevia. No lemons, no organic lemons. So I got organic limes. Those non-organic lemons taste really strange. What else? Mm-hmm. Then what happened? Mm. So here's how you make this super refreshing and simple drink. You're gonna need a glass. You're gonna need some weird shaped ice cubes because you thought it was a good idea to freeze water in this shape. You're gonna need some sweet leaf stevia. You're gonna need some lemons or some limes. What's happening here? Now I like to just leave this for a few minutes. Oh my God. It's not even cold yet. Leave it for a few minutes. Let those ice cubes do their job. So good. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> How sensitive. <coughs>